this next application, we're going to mount a decal to a, a foam core board. So the first thing I'll do is set my gap for the machine. So I'm going to take a board the same thickness of what we are going to be running, and I'll turn the rollers down until it touches, put that in reverse. Now I have my rollers set. Then I'm going to come over here and prepare the board to run through the machine. So you notice we have our 3 16 inch foam core board and this is our print. This has already been laminated and this is an adhesive back vinyl. So I'll take the liner on the back side and separate that from the print. Then I'll roll this liner back about two inches or so and that'll give me something to work with. So I'll get that back about that far and then I'll put a nice little crease in there in that liner and flip it over. When I flip it over, that liner will help me position the print on the board. So once I get it positioned where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and tack it down in the center and then go out to the edges on both sides. Get that nice and going. Now at this point, I'll take the board over to the machine and we'll put the leading edge of that right into those rollers. I'm going to flip this print over and put it over the top of the rollers. Now what that does is that allows me to run this through the machine and use those rollers as a support, or that roller as a support as I pull this liner off. When it goes through, I want to just gently pull this liner. I don't want to pull it out too far. I want to keep the separation close to the rollers. So I'll go ahead and get that started in with my foot pedal. And then pull that liner as it goes through. You'll notice I'm keeping that separation pretty close to the nip area. You want to make sure you don't allow that liner to get pulled into the machine because if you do, it's going to ruin your print. Once it clears, release, and that's it.